Hey YouTube, I wanted to do a review video of this fake Rexford rut, but I didn't really want to spotlight this knife by itself because it's a fake and I don't really like the fake knives like that. Uh, both of these are on loan just for the video. So I thought I'd do a comparison between an actual Rexford rut. This is the V2 with uh, chamfered edges, but if you want to see the actual um, size and different functions and the review video of just this by itself, you can look back on my channel. But um, I'm not really going to get into the actual um, sizes and weights or anything. I'm just going to do like relative to the to the fake one. So go check that video out if you want. And here is the fake. I think it says Paper Knives EDC instead of Rexford Knives Rut. Rexford Utility Tool, I think, is what it stands for, probably. Um, so, same basic shape. They, uh, they didn't really do a very good job at copying it. Because as you can see, their size, I don't know if they were trying to go with the size or if they just looked at a picture and... Um, copied it from a picture when they're making it but that's probably what they did if it's uh, really different sized um, I definitely like the size of the rut better because it's smaller it's also a lot lighter because the the size and the titanium compared to this steel this is also a copy off the tad version so it's got the fake um, lines in it like the topographical lines from the tad version and there's the tad symbol, triple lot design or whatever that is. But um, so you can see they copied the same basic shape. There's uh, four screws on the real one. This one has three, and they're all in different spots. Um, they got the same little like lanyard hole or maybe an oxygen key. I don't know for sure. Uh, bottle opener, pretty much the same shape, but you can see the. Uh, the copy, that little pry tip at the end, it gets down to a finer um, point down there, and it's on the opposite side. Just grind it a little bit, and the real one has a nice grind to it. So there you can see the thickness. Um, I don't know the exact measurement of the real rut, but it looks like it's about an eighth inch thick. Maybe a little thicker, um, not too thick, but this one is really, really thin. Um, doesn't really feel as good in the hand at all. Doesn't really feel quality. Um, one of the things I've noticed about it, so, so here's the real one. You can see the stone wash looks really good. Um, just the overall build quality of this thing is really cool because obviously because it's Rexford knives and Todd Rexford makes great stuff so you can see the uh, all you have to do is just push the little button in and it relieves the little lock on the holes in the um, in the razor blade or I guess it does it on the edge when it starts off but then it slides right into the first spot and you can click it and slide it right into the second spot or just click it and pull it out and it's really easy so I can put it back in without cutting myself so it, it functions really great, um, really easy to get in. But for this one, for the fake, it doesn't really have that button like the real one does right there. It's uh, raised a little bit, so it's a lot easier to push down in. This one doesn't have anything and is pretty hard just to press that thin steel down enough to get it to go out. And then even when it does, it doesn't lock in very well because if you can see it right now it's locked in and everything but if you let go of it it moves up and down a lot inside there and it can actually come out of that little button part area so it doesn't really hold it in very well it's a lot harder to operate and get it to go back in all the way because it does go up too high because it doesn't really hold it in which with the real rut 
it's all secure down in there. It's not going to come out. Um, slides right back in really easy. And like I said, really easy to replace the blade if you need to. This one's just really kind of, you can pull it out pretty well. It's still pretty hard to um, press on the little lock bar type thing, but getting to go in and get secured, you can see the little part right there is sticking out. That's actually the razor blade that didn't go in all the way. And there it goes. So these are only like six bucks. Um, the real ones are around 135, I think, for the Rexford Rut V2. The TAD versions, they might be a little more with the topographical etching in it. Um, I'm not sure, I haven't really looked uh, into that too much. But around 130, I think, for these, 135. And so getting something that's stainless steel for $6 or $4 or however much it is online, I don't know where you can get them because I didn't buy it, but um, you're obviously not expecting much. But just even having it, even having it just to carry around, it'd be kind of annoying because it doesn't function very well. Um, I don't really like the fakes, but I don't think anybody buying this um, would really uh, be wanting to buy a real one. So it's not like Todd Rexford's losing any money from people buying a $6 piece of shit copy of his actual good quality product. Um, he probably doesn't like that they stole his design, obviously, but. I don't think it's affecting him too much. He's still selling a lot of them and making a bunch of them and making a lot better product. So, so that's pretty much all the comparisons. Um, basic design's the same, but the size and functionality is completely different. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Just don't really like this one, and I really like this one. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos on my channel and the review of this one if you want to look at more of it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.